and then that's why Paul Paul's looking at these you know uh, these believers and and he's like, I gotta, I gotta tell you how much I hurt. I've got this unceasing anguish and I'm just, I'm just curious, how much do you, how much do you love? Because remember as elders, we, we, we sat down one time as the elders at Cornerstone and we all just started confessing. We said, you know, I think I used to love people more. I think I used to just hurt for the poor more. I used to love the lost more. And then I started learning you know, and then I just, someone told me, well, you know what, your theology isn't quite right, so why don't you step out of that environment and let us teach you first. And then you start learning, getting these Bible studies, and you go, wow, I really don't know my stuff. You know, so you go through, and I better go to Bible college, and just, you know, and you get further and further away from the unbelievers, then you get to Bible college, and you realize, wow, I really don't know anything, and so I better go to seminary. And you go to seminary, and it's like, wow, I really don't know anything. And you just keep going down this, this trail where I gotta know more, gotta know more, gotta know more, gotta know more. And that's good, let's do that, let's pursue that. But somehow we, we leave this, this world of lost people so often. You know what I'm talking about. And we, we, we get secluded and we get out here and we think hard about the scriptures, but we're no longer thinking about people. And somehow the apostles were able to do both. They grew in their knowledge of God, but they also grew in their love for people. And this unceasing anguish, it, it never stopped. They kept pursuing and thinking. And so I gotta ask, is that true of you? I mean, are, are you still loving? Are you still burdened like you once were? Do you mourn for those who mourn? Does it break your heart that right now you've got brothers and sisters, they'll never sit in a room like this and have this kind of teaching, ever. They're just trying to find water so they can survive right now. What, is, what does that do to you? Like, like there's mothers just going, I, I, I don't even know this stuff you're debating in that room. I just know that I gotta feed my kids somehow today. What does that do? What does it do for you to think about kids in Thailand right now, little girls that were abducted and they're just being raped repeatedly right now while we sit in this room. What, what, what is it, does, does it do anything? Is, is there a love? Man, man, I, I, I loved what Al Muller was talking about. He's talking about this younger generation and the way they were thinking. And, and the whole idea is that's what we've got to think hard is so that we can help them change their minds because I'm worried about them. I'm worried about their eternal destiny. If they keep thinking with that type of worldview, they're not headed to this eternity with God. Does that break your heart? Is that what motivates you? I mean, why do you learn? Do you learn because you love? Because you love so much and you think, I gotta help them somehow. I gotta love these people somehow. And the only way is if I can understand this stuff.